Ebu se mwubi ya kwa ba, na alan chile mantin, alan kujo chile mantin, edi insembi ababontin. Nebu suyan, ensema alan kujo chile mantin, edi ababontin de, ensema anuwa e dempa, na ensema ni de, odane no, edi ma MPP, eni nada danko kufualo, eni Dr. Mamudu Baumia, eni police system, especially IGP, na alan chile mantin se, watna siya jumbibi hu onti asye, se, o shwe se, yen siyo e se, na ye good e ko, na si si ane gana fo e nye nisu papa e nye den e nom. Na gana fo na asore. Omwe je omwe juma e di atufi e. E bimu kwa po nye juma. No omwe ti si abonten so. Ama mo bakura ma up mo polis fo mo ma mo permission. Me kan jolobi house fo no. Jolobi house de mo no. E na se se omwe ti si abonten. No omwe demonstrate ya. Na mo omwe chi 39. E da omwe ko tum. Na omwe se omwe pe lawyer so. Omwe se mo mfa lawyer se e nye den e mo mo. No se onu sa adena eku fwa doa ye no eni MPP no onu bida. Because enu nchire se u ye democracy. E u believe in democracy. Because brana na o ba no o se. Ma ye nye spectators, ba ye nye citizens. Aha, na onu eku fwa do kura saan ka se. O de ni presidency. Ebe to line so. Aha, nwa protecte. E se se omayin e gudi. Na si si ya na aman fwa e komplen ya na se demonstrate ye se. Aman fwa e se yin so aman fwa e ye good no. Na omu puteste nou, na wachi omu na, onu de owanse mi bire edek ma, eku fwadu. Inti yen se mene bousu ya, mouma yen konen koti alanka chende, e yo fes na mouba chende hase ya, subscribe mame, aha e big update. Mouma yen ti alanche manti, bidou bi biase. Fellow countrymen and women, today, I join many Ghanians from all over the country in expressing my utter dismay and condemnation for the continued incarceration of several young Ghanaians belonging to the Democracy Hub who took to the streets a few days ago to express their anger and frustration at the government's inability to deal drastically and substantively with the challenge of illegal mining, otherwise referred to as Galamsey. The protests have exposed the failure of the current MPP government and the predecessor government of the NDC over the last two years to manage the natural resource endowment of our beloved country in a sustainable way and to optimize the benefits of these resources for the Ghanaian people. Admittedly, the acts of some of the protesters in the demonstration under reference were excessive in form and character and may have constituted a breach of public peace and order. But let me declare that it is within the constitutional rights of any and every Ghanaian to express freely their opinions and to assemble in pursuit of their constitutional right of freedom of speech, expression, and movement. In this regard, it is offensive to the proper conduct and practice of criminal prosecution for the police and the Attorney General's office to bring charges of conspiracy to commit crime and committing crime in the nature of unlawful assembly. When the police was aware that the demonstrations would take place and did not take judicial steps to abort it or to stop it. In any event, it is beyond my wildest imagination to believe how the Ghana Police Service could have supervised a demonstration for a continuous period of three days and thereafter bring charges of unlawful assembly. Fellow countrymen and women, in spite of this development, however, I must say to the credit of the Ghana Police Service and the contingent of police officers who had oversight responsibility for the demonstration that they did indeed act professionally and with, dec with decency in the management and control of the crowd of protesters over the three days of the protest. 
Regrettably, the poor post arrest management of the protesters by the police has been both unlawful and unconstitutional. To the extent denying those arrested access to legal counsel, access to their family members, and access to essential medication, food, and water. Furthermore, the refusal of the presiding judges to admit the accused persons to bail in a criminal case in the nature of a misdemeanor, in my very respectful opinion, is an abuse of judicial discretion on the firm grounds of constitutional law, human rights, judicial practice, and decided cases. Fellow countrymen and women, let me rephrase my earlier submission that the continued detention of the accused young persons is both unlawful and unconstitutional. Indeed, it is also a sad reflection of an emerging trend in our body politic in Ghana of intolerance for dissenting views. Equally, concern, equally concerning is the culture of fear and sycophancy that is gradually permeating our social fabric. This is particularly troubling as we approach the general elections this year, an election which without doubt will be a watershed and defining election in the political history of our country. Fellow countrymen and women, let it not be said that our generation stood by unconcerned as the dark clouds of chaos and anarchy begin to gather in our beloved country. Galancé constitutes an existential threat for Ghana. As you travel the length and breadth of this country, you'll be amazed at the extensive destruction of water bodies, forest reserves, and farmland. From colonial times through to independence and the immediate post-independence era, Ghanaians have been engaged in small-scale mining in mining communities without a threat to the environment, land, and river bodies. Regrettably, however, in the last 20 odd years, the ravages of Galamse and its negative impact on the environment have been both alarming and incrementally retrogressive. In my considered opinion, this development is symptomatic of much deeper underlying systemic problems of economic mismanagement leading to joblessness over a long period of time. It is also clear, it is also a clear reflection of policy failure and leadership on the part of both the MPP and the NDC over the last two decades. Unfortunately, in the recently published manifestos of the two dominant political parties, they have demonstrated that they neither have the competence, desire, interests, or political will to deal with the problem of Kalamsi. Indeed, recent pronouncements and statements by higher level officials of both parties clearly attest to this observation. The movement for change and the Alliance for Revolutionary Change, which I have the honor and privilege to lead, on the other hand, has outlined a forward looking, comprehensive 10 point policy blueprint to deal substantively with the challenge of Galapagosi, which I would like to present as follows. Number one, impose a complete ban for a period of one year on all small-scale and community mining activities, whether legal or illegal. Two, demobilization of all machinery, equipment, including earth-moving equipment, and any form of machinery currently in use in respect of small-scale and community mining, legal or illegal. Three, 
in vaporization, storage, and preservation of all demobilized machinery and equipment by the military, especially the 48th Engineers Regiment. All such machinery and equipment shall be properly identified in respect of their ownership, location prior to demobilization, and the full description of the state and condition of the said items before demobilization. Four, a complete restoration of all river bodies to reduce current turbidity levels within a period of one year while the ban is in force. The, this exercise will be coordinated by the Water Resources Commission, the Environmental Protection Agency, and other relevant regulatory institutions, as well as the military. Five, complete restoration and regeneration of all degraded land sites within the one year period of the ban. This exercise will involve plantation development and tree planting on the degraded sites and will be coordinated by the Forestry Commission and other relevant public sector institutions. Six, the cancellation of all small-scale and community mining licenses issued within the last 15 years. The cancellation will be followed by a comprehensive and complete audit of all small-scale and community mining licenses issued within this period. This audit exercise will interrogate the following matters. A, the issuing authority of the license. B, conditions associated with the grant of the license, including but not limited to the payment of license fees, compliance with technical requirements, etc. Seven, the deployment of all young people previously engaged in Kalamsi to actively participate in the plantation development exercise on degraded land sites as a livelihood empowerment initiative within the period of the one year ban. Eight, the establishment of new of a new youth in responsible mining initiative under which groups of young people previously engaged in Galamse will be supported by the government to establish youth-owned mining companies as private legal commercial activity. These companies will be provided with machinery and equipment and other facilities that will be required to operate a commercially viable mining company on a work and pay basis. Ebusia and Jenny Winning Summer Echo, so the Ghana International Press Center, as is Alan Chiramantin, yes, presidential candidate for the Afrofanto Alliance, together with his running mate. Uh, Kwami Ousu Dan Soke Odi as I say Omodeko Tuja now to Musen Semin de Busia Ebu Aedu pa yes is seven more to muse uh Alan Kojo Chevantin says a wakasa yes wakasa fa uh says a galamse hum pa yes wakasa fa galamse hum and now wasan kasa fa one more yet chi or mono yes and wasama uh measures as a or ba as I say uh obey obete key na busia mumma kum ka cran and kick and kind and send me a cry out all kind as I say. Yeah, let's see. Or is it 10 point plan? As I say, but maybe a illegal my mature galam see. Aha, a free Ghana. Yes, a free Ghana to muse. And some no kind of busia. As I say, I know I do not to say at a land mark press conference at the Ghana International Press Center. Alan Tremantin, presidential candidate for the Afrofanto Alliance, together with his running mate Kwame Uhusu Dansuke Udi and the other senior partners of Avranto Alliance unveiled a comprehensive 10-point plan aimed at eradicating illegal mining galamsey in Ghana. And you know, you say, Alan Kuduche Mantin, or no, and then you run him with your friend, okay, Udi, I friend no Kwame Usu Danso, yes, and then you say, and then you for a conference B. Na conference no more is ten key point be as a multi media galam say because it's the idea 
Eh, galam se any eh, idea si si ay busi ya air trend eh, ewo Ghana hasi yes. You na efi se galam se no se se eh, atiako but eh, asan babium yes asan babium na busi ya okay, kwa se this ambitious blueprint which he presented on uh, Sunday 29 September 2024 uh, signals a new approach to tackling one of the country's most pressing environmental and social economic challenge. And then you say, since you're on a plan now, or no, aha, I will see no 29th way, no, yes. I say, uh, one key point people might be to me, a boy, nay, you to me, a preserve, and answer you to me, a nya, yen sassy, and a your forest, and a yen sio back, aha, to me such a lanchamante or cassay, or say, Chiremantin began his address by acknowledging the devastation Galamse has caused across Ghana, describing it as an existential threat to the nation. And in the beginning, he says, or address, you know, catch it, as I say, Ghana for say, no, maybe more, Galamse, no, says, aha, or mine, pa, yes. Now, you didn't say Galamse today, Busia, aha, or mine, pa. Now, to us, I say, he painted a grim picture of. The widespread destruction of water bodies, forest reserve, and farmlands, calling it the result of a uh, decade of poor governance and policies failure by both the MPP and the NDC government. I say, see, see, I'm gonna need to be a do need here. On blame will be a, but we blame it for me to be pet. I will on my way more. As I'm going to say, MPP ni NDC. I'm not my entry high. I'm a CCRO. Galam se ayi den ase omai no. But in any fat the time na NDC four no. Eh, what power no? Na in sub water bodies no air kama. But within eight years, the in any the nuclear they were obeka when you because of say we party be and a party be. Yes, in any during Mahama time NDC four time time na in sub na ye. Any CCRO se na ina in sub na ye. In Thailand, Chairman Tin say on don't for blame ni mo. The people are coming. The people are not tuning na. Eni na. Uh, and some as I say, all can I say uh, both NDC and MPP you know almost feel like I'm for concerning this kind of problems as you see your water bodies air will be what you see idea and so why then yes look at quality crying so crap pure tobacco cry 25 cd crown and to assume what you are saying aha ah see see I'm crap no and so need none about a car we see there's in soup bago cracker a achimota mr achimota sorry a kusumu said the two dominant political parties have demonstrated that they neither have the competence desire nor political will to address galamsi chimantis or say since and the sa political powers me microphone me new way ifn and this in mpp no or much regana for say a nya dia on which me either i agree i'm saying no she ain't you know yen suni and sas in your farms because why they i say yes Sana Alan Chamanti, a year there, I can say. But who say, Sanko for me, no way, and I don't my own money ye. Now, to say, the cornerstone of Alan Chamanti's plan is one is a one year complete ban on all small scale and community mining activities, both legal and illegal. Alan Chamanti says, or bar one of the best plans I'll be a partner say, Eh, Obama, ya stop ho, Galamsi, any even. Legal mining to say Ashanti goons and my man, we might stop for one year. Aha, now the Argentina also we might stop for one year. Moment to us, or say this moratorium he explained will provide a necessary pause to assess and reset the country mining practice. Or say, Saadi, we are a rubber track galam say name even legal mining mono. A ya adibia a bit to me a boy or mine or mana a started at fresh. And Tim Fan says, Yes, topo galamsia. Yes, topo galamsia. Yes, you are, as I say, no. Because as small as I hear your galamsia, no. Not as small as I say, in soon air than air says, yes, and no, as I say, a lunch a month. And Jebusia, and semi door can send me brie, yes, and semi door can send me brie, not fun and what. Oh, I say, you see, you know, it's a of first time watch and has a sober subscriber at the Amaya. I have a big update in semi fagan on the air. bro, what's best subscriber at the Amaya? No, me or bell icon send a bed anytime. Biano, as a mina information be see a bush in your own first person on Saturday. Becca, it will be as.